Hi everyone, back with another video on my favorite headphones of all time, the Bose QC35. I got these back in 2017 and I paid about $350 for them. And ever since then, I've worn them pretty much every single day. But the ear cups break down after about three years and you kind of need to replace them. Thankfully, Bose sells nice replacement parts on their website. If you go to their accessories section, you can filter by different products. So I'm filtering here by headphones, see results, scroll down a tidge, and there they are. Replacement ear cups for my headphones in black. Voila. So I've bought two pairs now. Back in 2020, I got a pair and just bought a pair about a month ago. And I thought I'd show everyone how you replace the ear cups. They come in this little box and you open it up. And there's the instructions, pretty self-explanatory, only a few steps, and a little warranty card. And here's an unboxing. Once you get new ear cups, you really realize how crappy and old your other ones were. Look how nice this leather looks in this lighting compared to this. Old, wrinkly, and broken. And now to show you how to replace them, you just rip off the old pads and look at this foam. It's really kind of faded over time, but rip off the other side and then underneath is called the scrim, which your ear brushes against. You kind of rip those off and it's okay. They just stick back on with new adhesive. So it's okay if that old foam is still there, you can pull it off if you want, but not I. It is interesting to look inside the headphones once the pads are off. You kind of forget what it looks like in there, but it's always interesting to see inside of your electronics. Anyways, putting on the new scrims, you just take off the adhesives and stick it on there, left, right. Hopefully you can figure out what left and right is. It's the opposite here because I flipped the headphones over, but you stick them on there. And then there's little clips around the ring of the headphone and that's where the headphone pad will go into but you need something to push it in so i'm using a lightning to mp3 connector and that actually works really well just the tip of a lightning charger push it into those clips and voila these headphones look brand new again and they feel brand new on your head they almost feel lighter with new foam compared to the old foam which is lovely I really do love these Bose QC35s. They are very light and I can wear them all day on my head without getting uncomfortable. You can see this case, the grease from my old headphone cups. It's kind of gross, but I'm just showing you how much I have used these headphones. If you can pick up a pair of Bose QC35s, one or two, I would do it. They're amazing. I think they're better than the QC45s. The 45s are a titch heavier too, so just a little less comfy. but. These come with a MP3 cord and a charging cable and also an airplane connector, which is nice. One thing that confuses me about Bose is that they have two apps in the iPhone app store currently. They have the Bose Music app and the Bose Connect app. The old Bose QC35s only work with the Bose Connect app and it's just confusing. Their new products work with the Bose Music app the old products with the work with the Bose Connect app. I don't know why they just don't put it in one app. It's odd. But in the Bose Connect app, you can use Music Share, meaning you can share with other Bose products. And you can also change how much noise cancellation these headphones have. So there's high, low, and off. And then there's some other settings, and they do update these headphones over time, which I do appreciate. And then you can adjust the volume in the app. Not too many settings, but I do appreciate that Bose does have an app in general. Another reason I wanted to make this video is that Bose is now advertising the Bose Quiet Comfort headphones on their website. This just kind of seems to be the Bose QC35s or 45s without the number, but they've kind of just stuck to the base product of Bose QC30, Bose Quiet Comforts. And now they also have the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultras, which look pretty nice. I kind of am tempted to buy these. Do you guys think I should buy these for the channel? I buy all my own products, so 
Reviewing is also pain, but I do love making videos. Anyways, I think I'll just stick with my Bose QC35s. Hopefully they last another six years, but I do appreciate you all watching and I'll see you on the flippity flop.